Amen. God bless you. Welcome to our daily devotion for Friday night. And uh, I want to kind of get into the atmosphere of Christmas uh, with this devotion tonight. And it's a portion of scripture that's found in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, uh, verse number 30, and it reads as follows. God has united you with Christ Jesus. For our benefit, God made him to be wisdom itself. Christ made us right with God. He made us pure and holy, and he freed us from sin. And uh, with this scripture, um, you know, the scripture is really defining that we've been given Christ. That's the gift. That's the greatest thing about about Christmas is we have been given Christ. And um, there's nothing now for us to receive really outside of him. And I think that that's something we have to wrap our mind around. Uh, anything outside of him is, isn't necessarily exactly what we need. Um, there are things in life that, that uh, we appreciate and there are, are things in life that we uh, have a form of need for. But, but when we speak of this one gift, it is, it is apart from him the most important thing that we will ever receive. And so, you know, the Holy Spirit was given to produce that which God wanted to work out from within us. And so a lot of times people get um, confused about what that is. Um, we at times um, uh, worry about what it is that we want to accomplish. But this scripture makes it very clear in that God has united you with Christ Jesus. We have been united with him. And so therefore, all that he is dwells within me. More importantly, all that is within me can also be produced out of me, which means that I can change. I can become different. I can uh, have have a different outlook on life. I can think differently because of the work of the Holy Spirit within my life and the Christ who dwells within me. And so I began to look at things that that you know we are accustomed to, and we're accustomed to think of holiness as a virtue, or we're, we're, humility as a virtue, or even more that more than that, um, you know, as as we look at grace as being something that they're so gracious, and those are beautiful attributes but all that we really need is that which is in Christ and Christ who dwells within us and that's what the scripture is telling you and I that you and I must understand that God has united you with Christ and for our benefit God made him to be wisdom itself therefore all that we need for direction within our life dwells within the Lord himself who dwells within us and if we would just let him have his way direction would be a lot more easier within our life. This is a powerful truth and a gift that God has given us through Jesus Christ because he's within our lives. And if you could embrace that, not, not seeing Christmas as a gift under a tree or Christmas because of the, the beautiful the stockings and, the, and the, the decorations and the smell of Christmas, those are all things that we enjoy. But if you would just see the fact that Christ is the gift that you need within your life to give direction and wisdom for who you are in this hour of, of, of this world. And so, you know, I, I want to encourage you because I do believe that sometimes we get caught up into the, I don't know, for lack of a better word, maybe the spirit of Christmas, really what Christmas is, is to this world. But we can't lose sight of what it was and that the gift that was given through Christ has so many things that benefit our life. I want you to embrace that. Brace that for your life. Bow your heads with me. Father, I thank you for tonight's daily devotion because it is a truth, God, that you are the wisdom that I need in my life. You're all that I need, really. And I, I look at things that I have accomplished or maybe have been beneficial to my life and have grown and some of the fruit that has been developed within my life, patience and kindness. These are things that, that, are, that people look upon and, and they say, oh, well, look at that individual. They're so, they're so kind and they're gentle. But Lord, apart from you, we learned we can do nothing. But here we learn also a truth that, that is so powerful and real. And that is, all that dwells within me, all that dwells within me is you. And what is inside of you can also come out of me. All I need to do is give you the freedom to do so. I pray for blessing over your children now. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you 
May the Lord be gracious unto you. May the Lord turn his face towards you and may he give you peace throughout this week. Hey, God bless you. I look forward to seeing you on Sunday as we do our, our service. And then Monday we'll return back to our daily devotion. Enjoy your Saturday. Spend some time with your family and give thanks to God for all that he has done. God bless you.